Hi, my name is Toby Trusky. I'm a territory manager with AY McDonald. Today I'm here to talk about the regulated hose kit, also known as the RHK. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my plug out of my angle ball valve. No gas will be escaping while doing this step. I'm going to take my 3 8 fitting, install it in the top of my angle ball valve. The next step is using my regulated hose kit. I'm going to attach it loosely so I can purge through my regulated hose kit when needed. Now let's move to the inlet side, the 8277 ball valve. I'm going to take our tamper-proof key. On the back side, we're going to remove our dust cover. And as a safety measure, we're going to make sure the stem is all the way in, not allowing gas to flow through our front port. Again, our tamper-proof key, we're going to remove the front fitting with no gas escaping. With the plug removed, we're going to install our quick connect. And I'm going to quick connect my regulated hose kit. Currently, we're in normal operation. What we're going to do now with the valve off up here, we're going to take our key, we're going to back the plunger out until you get a hard stop. So at this time, open up the valve up by the gauge. Allow your regulated hose kit to purge per company procedure. Tighten and secure the fitting. Now that we have everything tight and secure, we're gonna rotate the angle ball valve 90 degrees. This allows the angle ball valve to be in bypass mode and will feed the customer through the regulated hose kit, allowing non-interruption of service. At this point, we can turn off the riser valve. As you can see we're still running about six and a half inches of water column. We're gonna take a walk inside and see what we see for pressure at the appliances. So inside here we have a stove, a furnace, and a water heater running. And if I take a look on the manometer, we're bouncing around from about six inches of water column, just shy of six inches of water column. And same thing on the water heater, we're just shy right around six inches of water column. Now that we're in full bypass, an advantage of the regulated hose kit is I can remove this insulated tailpiece and this union nut, and I can replace the whole meter set and the whole regulator. I'm not limited by a remote source of gas because I'm feeding from my gas system. At this point, we're gonna change the meter. So per your company standards and procedures, perform your routine maintenance as guided. Now that your maintenance is performed, keep in mind that we're still running off your system gas below your inline bypass valve, feeding your customer never interrupted service. At this point, I'm gonna reconnect my meter. I'm gonna turn my inline valve on slowly. So I can see I'm purging. I want to make sure I get all the air out of the system. When my purge is complete, tighten all my connections. So now that I have all my connections tight, I have gas flowing through my 8277 inline bypass valve, up through the regulator, through the meter, and stopped at my angle ball valve. I am still feeding the customer from my system gas through my regulated hose kit, so I did not interrupt any service. My last step, I'm gonna turn my angle ball valve on. Now that I'm in normal flow, I'll take my tamper-proof key, I'm gonna run my plunger in to stop the flow of gas through my regulated hose kit. I'm gonna install my dust cover so I don't forget. I'm gonna loosen up my connection purge off my gas. Now I have no gas in the regulated hose kit. Remove my quick connect. I'm going to remove my fittings. Install my 3 8 plug with a company approved pipe dope. 
remove my inlet connection and reinstall my tamper-proof plug. And with that, we have successfully completed a bypass operation using the regulated hose kit. Once again, I'm Toby Cherosky with AY McDonald. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you for watching.